Blue ring octopus are known for two things. Their vibrant blue rings and their powerful neurotoxin. People like to sensationalize these guys and tell horror stories, but in reality, there have only been three recorded deaths in the last century. It might surprise most Australians to know that there has never been a death recorded from a blue ringed octopus in Australia. I'm not wording that in a beneficial way, like it wasn't on land or something. No one has ever died from a blue ring octopus bite in Australia even though they're regarded as one of our deadliest creatures. A prime example of media spin. I'm a little different. I don't believe they have a bad bone in their body. They don't have any bones in their body except for their beak, and that's where the venom is. In the unlikely event that you are bitten, your lungs would shut down in around 20 minutes and you will be paralyzed until the effects of the toxin wear off in around 24 hours. Until then, you would require CPR or a ventilator until you can breathe without assistance. Like spiders, all octopus have venom and each species has its own cocktail. Most of them have very little effect on us. After all, it's designed for marine prey. The blue ringed octopus, however, has a particularly nasty concoction called tetrodotoxin. It's the same found in pufferfish. Tetrodotoxin in blue rings is actually secreted by a symbiotic bacteria and not by the octopus itself. It's also apparent in their eggs, presumably for their protection. There are several species of blue ringed octopus all over the world and the one we have here in Victoria, Australia is the Southern Blue Ringed Octopus, or the Lesser Blue Ringed Octopus, even though they are the largest of the group at around 20 centimetres from tentacle tips when they're fanned out. But they do have the smallest rings comparative to their size, and that might be what the Lesser refers to. The brilliant blue rings often pose a problem for photographers trying to recreate that colour. It often comes out of purple or a solid block blue. The reason for this is unlike the chromatophores responsible for changing its colour and camouflage, the rings are made up of reflective iridophores which act like road reflectors bouncing the light back to its source. It's said that blue ringed octopus only show their rings when they feel threatened or vulnerable, which is a good enough deterrent for most people and predators alike. But from what I've observed, this might not always be the case. The rings certainly act as a warning to anything that's thinking about eating one or attacking one. But they almost only turn the rings off when they are about to attack prey, like a crab, and want to be camouflaged. Any other time, the rings are on walking around, sleeping, even when they die the rings are left on. It seems to be their relaxed state, but I could be wrong. There's a lot we don't know about them, and there are multiple species surely with different behavioural patterns. They're a curious species though. They'll often come and have a look at you while you're photographing, check out your GoPro or torch if you put it on the ground, I recently took a mirror with me and put it outside one of their dens. To my surprise, it turned a pale green colour when it saw its reflection. It came over and had a quick look, and then went off about its evening, hunting and exploring. The pale green colour might be a social interaction colour, maybe less threatening to other octopus. They're much more active at night hunting or looking for a mate. During the day, they nest under rubble or rocks. This one was in a clamshell. Sometimes you find them in a discarded bottle or can. So if you're doing your part to clean up, 
Make sure the trash you're collecting isn't something's home. When I was a kid, we had a pair of Blue Ring octopus in a tank while filming for the Nature of Australia documentary, and I spent many hours just watching them. But I never saw them as any sort of threat. After taking up diving a few years ago and posting some photos of them, I was surprised at the reaction I saw from people, who saw them as some vicious killing machine. I guess a lot of people only have word of mouth to go on. They really are more than just their stigma. Fascinating creatures with unique biology. If we can set aside our misconceptions, maybe we can focus on their intellect, their social behaviour, their complexity, and our effect on their ecosystem. Thanks for watching.